Hello, today's day 55 of self searching mind. Um, today was a good day. Every day that I'm living here, you know, breathing is a good day. Um, today's cold sh shower. Something about it, man. It was tough. It's just like every. And also, I didn't sleep that well last night. And I was surprised. Um, I was. My room is kind of uh, warm. Because I can't, I can't use my brand new cooler because it smells like fish. The air that it blows out smells like fish, so I think um, I have to change the water on that. But yeah, cold shower, first one of the day, always, always amazing, right? If you're on your self improvement journey, um, stick to one thing that you ha you have to, you, like you're obligated every single day to do, and that's gonna always keep like a, a like a positive spin on your day. I mean, try doing it in the morning, like. Honestly, like, I know most people do physical act exercise, right? Like, every day you do some physical exercise or something like that, and that keeps on your self-improvement journey. For me, it's a cold shower, um, because, I don't know, recently school has been, uh, been getting uh, all tough, and I have to focus on my studies. But, um, cold shower has been good. I do some calisthenics after school, so that's always a uh, another thing. But yeah, get that get that first one of your day, right? It can be anything really. Your first one of the day. Let's say for you, cold shower is too much or whatever. Um, it could just be like as soon as you wake up, standing up, right? As soon as you wake up, just stand up, get out of bed, and go 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 outside and breathe, get in a couple breaths of fresh air. That could honestly be your first one of the day because first of all, you don't you're not on your phone. And um, when you're on your phone in the beginning of the day, it's really, really bad for your dopaminergic system and your circadian rhythm, whatever, because too much dopamine and uh, you want to get that, you want to get that light in, right? I see a fly that has been bothering me the entire day. All right, whatever, I'm not doing this. Um, yeah, so... Just try try getting that first one of the day. And after that, whenever I went to school, did well on my tests. Um, really well, actually. So, you know, thankful for that. Um, after that, I went on the bus. I did work on the bus, right? Something that I usually don't do. I usually just sit there on the bus, listen to music, and stare off into space. But, like, I have an hour and 30 minutes to... And so I'm back home, so why not just spend that time wisely, right? Um, after that, came home, ate my food, and read some book books, did a lot of work, and um, yeah, messed around, listened to some orthodox chants, learned about my uh, religion more, right? Orthodox Christianity. Um, so yeah, today was... A pretty fruitful day in that matter uh, oh I was working today and I w I'm working on making a website for a competition which I'm gonna go to in like this weekend and I have no idea how I'm gonna record my uh, self-searching mind videos because I'm gonna be at a hotel with my friends and all of us in the room, and they don't know, nobody in my personal life knows about this, so it's like, I'm gonna have to go in the bathroom and talk to myself for like five minutes. But yeah, so I was um practicing that, uh, practicing for that competition, and making my website. And I decided to try seeing like how AI can help me, you know, do my work. And it's crazy, dude. It's crazy how complex AI has gotten. It's like, Chat GPT. If if like if it's if you don't use it correctly, right? I I believe I used it as a tool. I could be wrong and just you know jeopardizing my own uh, intelligence and relying on this AI system too much. But I believe you could use it in a way that it kind of helps. But still, it's it's a crazy cheat code. Even if you do use it lightly. Um, how complex and fluent the responses are and it comes it up and it comes up in 30 seconds is crazy it does really well um 
for helping like with marketing ideas and stuff like that. I know that a few of the first jobs that are going to be taken by AI are like content creator jobs. Um, social, I'm not so, I don't know, just some marketing jobs, uh, copywriting, stuff like that. Those are the first jobs that are going to be taken over by AI, which is scary. I mean, because that's kind of in the field I want to go to. I kind of want to be a salesperson. Um, that's why I'm learning uh, The Psychology of Selling by Brian Tracy, which is a book that I'm reading. But, yeah, it's kind of, it's scary because if it gets in the hands of kids who don't have an ability to self-regulate, right, like, then it could just be their answer to everything without having to put in the work. Or it could be a tool that's going to be used in everyday life in the future and we don't even need to think think about it anymore. So, like, what's the point? Like, I honestly don't know. I'm just thinking right now, like, speaking out loud, my thoughts. But I know for sure it's it's going to be heavily involved in our future, either for better or for worse. So, we'll, we'll see that on day 10,000 of self searching mind. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh... I do appreciate all the comments, the likes, and the support that I've been getting. I do, I do appreciate having a community of two hundred plus people now, all individuals who are on their self improvement journey, and we're all in this together, and we're all gonna um, stay dedicated to our craft and all of that, right? So I'm, I'm very excited to have that group of people with me on the self improvement journey. Uh, I genuinely hope you have a wonderful day. And be kind to one another because there's too little room for hatred in this world.